We're apparently in the middle of a thunderstorm because nothing says springtime like thunder. So if you hear a rumbly noise coming from outside, that's that. I have a microphone right here. I hope that that'll be picking up me and not the thunder, but you never know. I am back today to talk about my wardrobe and where I'm at with it, where I want to go with it. I've made a couple videos previously in this sort of series that I'm doing. I'll have a playlist linked up here for you. And I'm back today with the video where I want to talk about what I currently have in my wardrobe and looking at how that fits into the criteria I set in an earlier video. For example, how it fits into materials and length of garment and type of garment and stuff like that from what I like to what I have and what that all means, I guess. Now I'm gonna be looking down at my phone for a lot of this video, but I'm gonna put the same pictures on the screen for you as I'm looking at on the screen of my phone. And I just wanna talk through it and uh, see what we see, see if we see any patterns. So what I've done is I have painstakingly <laughs> imported every item in my wardrobe into my computer and done some light editing to remove the background from each image and then put them into these pictures in different categories. Now I will say I do have 157 items in my wardrobe and if you tally up the total that you'll see in these images it's 154. So somewhere along the line of making these compiled images I lost three items. I don't know what they are, where they are, what happened to them, but we're just gonna go with the 154 that I have in these images. So let's start with bottoms. Here are all of my bottoms that are not skirts, they are a separate image. But here I have my jeans and my other trouser type stuff. I have my shorts and I have my dungarees and this little jumpsuit thingy. Right off the bat, I feel like I have a lot of pairs of shorts. I have five pairs of shorts and I don't really feel like I wear shorts. I think I've said that in an earlier video in the series. I uh, don't know if the top two pairs fit me anymore. The third pair needs some, um, I was gonna say editing. No, but they need some help. They need to be stitched back up. They have a hole in them. The bottom two pairs are looser. The bottom most one is, it almost looks like a skirt. I feel like I have a lot of shorts for someone who doesn't really feel like I wear shorts. I don't even remember if I wore shorts once last summer, apart from like for a video, because I know I wore the, the khaki ones then. So no more shorts needs to be entering my wardrobe. I also feel like I have a lot of jeans. I have five pairs of denim jeans. I also have the orange pair, which are a jean type of pants. Now, if we switch over to the next image of the bottoms, I have crossed out the ones that for one reason or another do not fit the criteria I set in that previous video. So I've crossed out four of the bottoms, which is, I thought I'd done more. The thing is I made these images a few weeks ago and I haven't looked at them since. But either way, I've crossed out four pairs of bottoms and that is because of material for the mustard pants, it's material, and also uh, the, the rise of them. None of them go to my tits, but the rise of them. The jeans that I've crossed out are low or mid-waisted, which is not what I prefer. However, I do quite like those light blue jeans that I've crossed out and the um, darker blue, medium blue ones did surprise me last time I wore them. But based on the criteria I said in that previous video, these would have to go. Let's move on to button downs, of which I have many. There are 29 in this image, so that is a lot. And I guess the theme of these is that I have a lot of floral ones and I have a lot of white ones. They don't all look white in this image because the image when I took them didn't turn out very white, but they are white. I have one, two, three, four, five that are white and one that is half white and half blue and white stripes. And the thing is that most of my button downs do fit the criteria I've set. I'm gonna show you that picture right now. In order to stick to the rules I set for myself, I'd only have to remove one. That is material based. I do not like polyester type materials. I mentioned that. And this is some sort of poly blend at the very least. And I never reach for it. I do think it will be leaving my wardrobe in the near future but it is part of my wardrobe at the moment, which means it's part of my wear everything in my wardrobe this year experiment. Although I am allowed to get rid of things from my wardrobe this year without having worn them if, if like this, I know that I don't like it. Other than that, all of the shirts do fit the criteria I set, but I definitely have shirts I prefer over others. There are some I hardly ever reach for and some that are 
constantly in rotation and like I wear them to go in the wash, I wear them to go in the wash type thing. And also the one near the bottom right corner, uh, three in from the corner I guess, the multicolor, multi-pattern one, I don't love. There is something about it, I've debated getting rid of it before, maybe I should, maybe I should. The one in the very corner I do like, even though it's also quite bold and out there. But you know, sometimes you just have preferences that you can't really put into words why. And um, yeah, but looking at this, I have a lot of floral shirts. I have a lot of like white shirts. We knew this, that's not news. But yeah, I, I guess if no more shorts need to enter my wardrobe, I guess no more button downs have to either. I do wear button downs way more often than I wear shorts, but yeah. And I do have some variety. I have a couple dark ones. One top right corner is black with white pinstripes and it's oversized, it's very big, I really really like it. And then the other dark one that's a few shirts over from that is cropped and has an elasticated waistband so like you don't unbutton the whole thing, it just unbuttons to the waistband. And then the sleeves are a little bit shorter so I tend to roll them. I say tend to, I don't wear that shirt a lot. But that is more of a flannel material and I don't have any other ones that are flannel materials so like yeah, there are arguments to be made in different directions here, but I do have a lot of button downs. I guess the next category should be dresses. I love dresses. I have more and more gone back into wearing dresses, which is very nice. I wore a lot of dresses when I was younger, like late teens, early 20s, and then I outgrew a lot of my dresses and it's taken a while to get back into getting and also wearing dresses. I have 28 dresses, so basically as many as I have button-down shirts. I don't know what that says, but I just wanted to throw the number out there. And I do have a lot of dresses that I really like or really love. Uh, I will also say that I've put a jumpsuit in here. If you look at the item in the bottom row, second from the right, that is actually a play suit or a jumpsuit. But other than that, they're all dresses. I have some I really like, I have some I'm skeptical about, and if we look at the would have to go, image. There are six of them. The Christmas one at the very top is material that is like an acrylic type knit and then the rest of them are length based. I have also crossed out that jumpsuit, not because it's a jumpsuit but because of the length. Although I am more comfortable with it being short as a play suit or a jumpsuit than it would be as a dress. The dress that is crossed out in the bottom left corner I don't want to get rid of. <laughs> like, I'm not saying I will get rid of these pieces, at least not at the moment, but that one I don't want to get rid of. It's a linen dress, it's very comfortable, I have worn it a few videos before, I don't reach for it all the time, I don't reach for it in part because it's neutral, I believe. It is neutral, but I believe in part I don't reach for it because it's neutral. Um, but it is a little bit short, although I haven't actually worn it in summer yet because I got it towards the end of summer slash I got it during the summer but there was no proper summer last year um, after I gotten it. It was just cold and rain and we're hoping for better summer this year. Either way, I do really like that so I don't want to get rid of that. But the purple one, the green one and the one in the top right corner are all too short to wear without anything under. And the green one I can wear in the summer with low bike shorts under and that's fine, but the other two are more fall winter dresses and I don't feel like tights are enough because they feel so short. I feel like they are like that far below my butt. And even though I wear tights, I'm not comfortable with that. Now let's move on to knitwear of which there are 22 images in this picture. There are 22 items in this picture. And I have mixed feelings. Like there in this picture, there's a mix of more summery cardigans, i.e. very thin ones that like they serve as an extra layer but they don't need to be warm warm. And then all the way over to wool cardigans or really really thick cotton sweaters. And I have, the thing I have here that I really like is that I have so much color variety. There is one that almost looks like a white grayish color, beige color, but that is a soft light yellow. But if we look at this I have every color of the rainbow really. I have red, I have orange, I have yellow, I have green, I have blue, I have purple, I have a striped one, two striped ones that are multiple colors. And that is something I really like about this image. I did mention in a previous video that I would like to have more solid colored pieces that I could match together, either to do monochrome outfits, which I did a video on that, you can check that out here, 
or just color block. Like for example, this is not maybe a great example of that, but I'm wearing this light gray uh, knit sort of um, vest top or camisole or whatever you want to call it, top. It's a, a thin-ish knit. And this blazer that is green and pink and some purple and, and orange and white. And like they look really good together because there is the same green in both of them. And then on the bottom I'm wearing my most favorite pants. <laughs> These are pink linen pants that I got secondhand last summer and I love them. And this outfit just makes me so happy. It's a great example of how I would like to look and what I would like to wear more often. But blazers not on the list of things I wanted to keep. Even so, this image makes me so happy because there are so many different colors. However, there are of course problems with this image. So here is the altered one. Here I have crossed out all of the items that are not made from nice material. Meaning that things that have acrylic or polyester or some other uncomfortable fabric in them have been crossed out. Meaning that I lose all my purple and purple isn't a super prominent color in my wardrobe especially if I was to get rid of that purple dress that I showed in the previous image that was too short. I do wear that usually with a purple sweater and you know, but I do have the purple skirt, which we haven't talked about yet. We'll get there. Either way, at the moment, I do like the variety I have with color when it comes to my sweaters and cardigans. And I like the ability to, and would like more of that, to mix solid color pieces. I got distracted by this blazer. That doesn't really fit the bill, but even without the blazer, the top, and the pants look really good together. You can't really see because I'm sitting down, but I like these colors together. I think they look great. And looking at this, it just makes me realize that I really do like that variety and I would like more solid colored pieces in different types of items. So I can like more solid purple, more solid blue, more solid yellow and so on to mix and match more. Moving on, let's talk skirts. Now I do have at least one more skirt than this that I am currently in the process in the process of redoing. I had to take the waistband off to try to make it a little bit bigger. And it's in the ever present stash of, I should do something with this at some point and I'm just not. So that is in there. And also another skirt in this image is in that stash. But even so, here we have my skirts. There are 21 of them, which is also a large number. And here we have one floral skirt that I have yet to wear. I got it back in October. I haven't worn it. It's more of a summer piece, arguably. I like the fabric of it, but I do not love the print. I don't love the shape. It was a bit of an impulsive secondhand purchase. We shall see where that takes me. But what we can see from this picture is that I have some solid colored skirts. I have purple and green and red and gray and a denim one that are all solid colors. And, or two gray, three gray, many gray. I guess I don't need more more gray skirts because I have three different silhouettes of gray skirts. So something for me to keep in mind, I guess. But apart from the solid ones and one floral one, I have checkered ones and I have one striped one and one patchworky-ish one that is mostly checkered patchwork and the patchwork itself, I guess, is a form of checkered. So yes, I did say in a previous video that I do really like plaid checkered things. So ding, 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 I got that going for me. And I just said that I want more solid colored ones. So I have that too. I will say that these solid ones, most of them are fall winter skirts. And while that is great for the fall winter season, there is also spring and there is also summer. Now, interestingly enough, or sadly enough, if I was to remove all the skirts that don't fit the bill, that don't you know, fill the criteria that I set in the previous video, all of these crossed out skirts would have to go. Now this removes several or most of my solid colored skirts, including two of the gray ones, which arguably are more suited towards the summer, which I just argued that I had more skirts for the winter, but one of them is too short and one of them is bodycon, which is not a favorite silhouette. So I would be left with like three to four of these skirts, I want to say. I think I, I think like half of the remaining skirts, if I was to remove the X'd out ones, would be suitable for summer. But then there is very little color variation, which is very sad. I think skirts would take the biggest hit. Skirts and cardigans are apparently the areas that would take the biggest hits. So that's interesting. Now let's move on to tops. 
In this category I have put t-shirts and tank tops and this because again I still don't really know what to call this. I want to say it's a tank top but it is knit and there are 22 pieces in here. Here is another area where I do have a lot of color variation. I am happy with that. I have surprisingly many tank tops for someone who doesn't really wear tank tops. Like this I do wear fairly frequently but like spaghetti tops I don't spaghetti tops, spaghetti striped tops, I don't wear all that often. And when I do, I always wear like a, a button down or something on top, unless it's like 40 degrees outside in summer, perhaps. But here I have color variation. I have one floral and one striped and one graphic tee. Otherwise they're all solid. I do have the one that's white with black trim, but basically solid. And I do think that most of them would stay. Apparently six of them wouldn't. Let's see here. Uh, <laughs> the graphic tee wouldn't stay because I don't wear a lot of graphic tees. This is a very comfortable one and I do like the print of it. It has the different little ghosts on it with, um, they've just inserted the word boo in other words. Like it's a booberry muffin instead of a blueberry muffin and it's boo tube instead of YouTube. It's funny. That would go because I don't wear graphic tees very often. The floral tank top would also go because of the ditzy print, but I wore that just last week or the week before and it was really, really comfortable. So I don't know. I, again, I'm not gonna get rid of these things off the bat right now because they don't fit the criteria, but maybe this is an area where I could overlook the print. I don't hate the print, but I'm not as drawn to ditzy floral print as I am bigger floral print, although I guess you could argue that this is quite ditzy and I love this, but let's not talk about that in great detail. What I'm saying is that maybe I could overlook the ditzy floral print because it's so comfortable, you know? And then I have removed four other tops based on their cut. They are quite low cut. Um, it doesn't really look that way, but they are quite loose. The blue and the white and the black are definitely quite loose and the beige tank top is a little bit, a little bit more spacious than I need it to be, I suppose. Now the last category is vests, etc., of which there are 14 items. So it's a relatively small category. It's about the size of bottoms. Bottoms is 18, I don't know if I said that. And this is interesting to me because it's so bland. The majority of this image consists of vests, either like suit vests or knit vests. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight vests in this image. So more than half of the items of this picture are vests. Vests are a pretty recent love for me or a recent re-love, I should say, because I did have a vest uh, when I was younger. I think it was like a gray denim vest that I wore a lot in my like early teen years. I really like that but I outgrew that one. But I think six or seven of the vests were added into my wardrobe in 2023, which is a lot of vests to acquire in one year, having gone from one or two to eight. That is a lot. I do like them. I have not yet worn all of them. I haven't worn the top right one. It's sort of a velvety material and it has butter beads on it. I got it in November, December sometime. I haven't worn it yet. Otherwise I have worn them and I've worn some of them more than others, but I've worn them all. The two items in the top left corner, one of them could arguably sort of be called a vest. I do use it as a vest-ish with like a white button down underneath because we do know I love my white button downs and then just that on top and it looks really good but I haven't worn it recently. And then the item next to it, which almost looks like a dress, is this like split side tank top tunic type thing that I again think is more of an overlayer for me, but I've worn it once and I hated what I wore that with. So I don't know. And then apart from those, we have two blazers, one of them being this one, and I love it and a brown one. And then we have the tailcoats I got last year and a denim jacket. I haven't actually included jackets in this. I don't have jackets in my wearing, which is where I sort of source these images from. But this denim one I have more used as an indoor layer, more used like a cardigan, more used like something to keep it a little bit warm while inside. So that is still in here. And if we look, at what would have to go. It isn't actually all that much. It's three pieces. It is the two pieces in the top left corner that are just the wrong type of material. 
And so sadly is the floral vest. I don't remember now, but I don't think it's 100% good materials, materials I like to wear. I have been talking for very long and my memory card ran out of space so I had to empty that so that is why things might be looking different. Even so, as I was saying, the tailcoat's lining I think is made of a man-made material and I didn't cross that out when I made this little thing that I'm showing you. But the thing is, I have said earlier that I don't want anything entering my wardrobe that is more than 25% man-made materials, unless they are items that I'm fine with not washing very frequently. For example, I have some skirts that were crossed out in this video, but skirts that are more than 25% man-made materials, but I do not wash them with much frequency or at all. Like my full leather skirt, I've never washed because it's full leather, it does not need to be washed and it's fine but like shirts and things that sit in my armpits and stuff like that I do want to be able to wash frequently and the tail coats I don't wear a I don't wear very frequently but when I do wear it I do have a shirt or something underneath so the armpits of the tail coats isn't touching my armpits which helps to not have to wash it frequently so as a conclusion if I was to get rid of all the things that I've X'd out in these images I would be getting rid of 20 4.6% of the clothes I've just shown you. It was 38 items that were crossed out out of 154 in the images and that is about a quarter of the things. Now some of these things I am more willing to part with than others. For example that button down shirt, the one button down shirt that was crossed out, I genuinely do not like wearing and I don't know why it's still in my wardrobe because I don't think I'm going to change my mind on that. It is a staticky, clingy, polyester blend type thing and it's uncomfortable to wear. So I think that should just go right now and I don't have to wear that this year in order to get rid of it because I'm fine with that. But there are others that I genuinely like and wear with relative frequency even though they aren't perfect. You know, they serve a purpose that I want them to have but they're not perfect when it comes to material or silhouette or length or you know based on the list I made earlier. The list isn't rules, it's not set in stone but I made that list not really looking at my clothes just going like what do I genuinely off the top of my head prefer wearing. I do prefer high-waisted over mid-rise or low-waisted. Do I still have some mid-waisted, mid-waisted? Mid mid-rise stuff? Yes I do. Do I still like them? Sometimes. It depends on the mood, the day of the month, and so on. I'm gonna reflect on it a bit and see if anything will leave my wardrobe soon or if I'll still give them another go, another chance to wear them and see how I feel in them then. Or maybe two chances, maybe three chances, you know? And we shall see where it takes me. Now there are other ways I could be analyzing these pictures or these, these images by looking at like, okay, how many of these items fit cottage core? How many of them fit coastal grandma? How many of them are pink? Because pink is my favorite color. And I haven't done that, but maybe I'll do a version of that in the future. I do have other videos in this sort of vein of optimizing my wardrobe or finding my style or whatever it is I'm trying to do. I have more videos like that planned coming up, but I'm not sure if that's going to be the next couple videos. But this is all I have for this video for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below on what you saw in my wardrobe, what kind of rules you have for yourself or guidelines or ideas for what you want your wardrobe to be. And I'll be back with another video soon, so I hope to see you then. Bye!